Come on, scoot, bro. All right. Scooch it. I was just... He's coming to take me away! Take me away! I was heading you off to the past. Broadcasting live, live, live. From the treehouse. From the treehouse. In Phoenix, Arizona. From the headquarters in... Gilbert AZ. That would be your casa. The G Town. Which is also mi casa. A su casa. All of the casas. Google time. Buen venidos de beer Googles. We're drinking. Googles de cervezas. Thank you. Welcome. Now I want some carne asada. I do. Do you have any tacos, my friend? I I don't know. What? You had a weird burrito without eggs today. Yeah, that was the weirdest thing. <laughs> I, I'm texting Christopher. This Christopher's morning, coming over the house. This deal. Christopher decides to come over the house. This to morning. record today. To record. We're going to record for like eight hours of content. And I... Exaggeration. I pleasantly ask. I'm like, sir, bro, can you please get Would me you please a be so burrito kind? with potatoes, bacon, cheese, cheese, rice, and rice, and black beans? Fucking white people. I forgot... The fucking eggs, bro. I am an idiot. I'm like, okay, that's pretty specific and weird, but I was trying to you be. Do you, Scotty P? Yeah, man. Well, it wasn't from the Phoenix Burrito House. Was it? Was it Vaqueros? Is that where you got it? It was Rulobertos. Rulobertos. Where is? On where 48th was that? Forty eighth and Southern. Forty eighth and Southern. Okay, absolutely delicious, phenomenal. And tasting. they didn't have black beans. They and only had yes, I'd refried. But even then, sands the eggs. Still, probably one of the best burritos I've ever had. Oh, However, shit. Phoenix Burrito House. That's the place that? I, I'm getting you. Uh, we'll we'll go sometime. Where's that? Uh, it's uh, that's a great question. You don't Seven, even know? It's in Melrose, 7th Street, south of Camelback, between Camelback and Indian. If it's School in Melrose, is it any good? Is it authentic or is it like? Oh, why it's did, legit. It, okay. It's even the two Chihuerta, Huerta, Huerto, La Huerto. What's that? There's like some what? phrase. There's a phrase that people have on their shirt, like the original, the Heche, Heche, H E C H E. Echo. It means made in. Sure, that's what it was. Fucking Jesus. It says... I'm sorry, do you fucking... Do you see me yell at you for not knowing fucking German? Czech? <laughs> that you're going to say Czech. <laughs> I'm Czech. What? You hear do me for... Do I yell at you not knowing Czech? Are you saying I know... Ex I know yell at you for not knowing Czech accent? Como se dice made in Czech Republic? Jesus, man. So what's it called? Echo. H-E-C-H-O. -E yes. Made in. Thank you. That's Their t-shirts have that on it. They're authentic. I promise you. Okay. And they're delicious. That's the most important thing. Yeah, I'll pull up the freaking menu and you no, can No, it's fine, dude. Salad. I'm already hungry. I That's just fine. ate a PB&J. I know. You're hungry and you ate a PB&J, so yeah, that tells you much how a fat of, body you are. It just kind of holds me over until I can go get some tacos. <laughs> right. Well, this is where you're going to go after What after is my favorite this. expression? They don't call those nachos super for nothing. That's true. And they're not. Dun, they're dun, never dun, super dun, enough, dun, bro. Dun, 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 dun. And they've got those cards that you play. Huevos Rancheros. You play uh, Mexican bingo on the walls. Nice. What, what are they called? What's that thing called? That game. Mexican it's really cool. bingo? No, like these things. Isn't that what we have? It's like, uh, it's almost. Texas Hold'em? No, no. You match cards. Go that have, fish? Like, Diablo on them. And Do you have any devils? How? Go fish. You're half, right? Yes. Do you have any You're boats? Go pescado. You're not helping, sir. <laughs> I still love you, though. Do you want to get to the point? No, it's your point. What is today's the, topic, You came sir? to us today. No. Today's topic from the home office in Gilbert, Arizona, my house. See? Echo, echo yeah, in there, Phoenix right there. Thank Boom. you. That's what their t-shirts okay. read. Sorry, I this I came up all by myself, and I'm super proud of myself. So I am proud of you also. Yay, both of us. I'm also two I am Tambian proud of you. All of the Tambians. Uh, twice before we've gone over lists of phrases. Once was with Willie Shakespeare, and the other time was, I don't know, we Googled some shit. This list I put together by myself through just shit that popped in my head or from 80s metal songs oh. or... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> show show, Death show metal, us. Bro. Death metal. Death metal with the rainbow. With the rainbow. Is, there, is there a unicorn somewhere on there? Mm, no. Probably. In my and brain, it, there's a unicorn. And it's like a lilac pink color. It's fantastic. I've worn it to an Iron Maiden concert. And, dude, I love your shirt, man. I'm like, that's right, you do. Please don't headbutt me. And you're like, please don't headbutt me. I, I'm the only dude wearing a pink shirt. It's awesome. I love it. Like, it's, People are like, oh my God, I love your shirt. <laughs> You broke your own bad. You broke your own rules. I did. I but wore a pink. For but for the irony for, for the, the death metal shirt, dude. It's so funny for the Alanis effect. It's hysterical for the Alanis Morissette effect. It's 
perfect. I know. See what I'm saying? And it's true irony. Thanks, Alanis, for making us. For using the incorrect definition? Thank you, yes. Are we going to get enchiladas after this, you prick? Do you want to? Yeah. God, yeah, they that's opened? Where you're gonna get. Yeah. get that off the screen, you dickhead. I'm going to show more pictures. No, Don't you're worry. not. Yes, you're such an asshole. asshole. I'm being a dick. Oh, I hate you I'm so going to show you what a fucking burrito really looks like, my friend. God damn, that is a fucking burrito. That's not even it, though, but that's a very mucho burrito. Anyway, go ahead. I'll keep looking. The best. What cheap- are we talking about? Okay. 12 phrases and their origins that popped into my brain. That's today's subject. Are you ready? Um. Yes. Are you? We are going to start with Check Mark's favorite expression. We're blowing my load early, bro. What? Why are yes. we doing this? You, yeah, because I said so. Yes. I like it. Keep your shirt on. That's your I, favorite expression. I do love that I'm expression. just going to bust it out early. Where did that expression come from? I honestly did a little research about this. You but did the, not. But not, no, not today. This was eons ago. I think it was in the early 1900s or late 1800s in bars because guys took their shirts off to fight. They'd get in a fight at a bar and they go outside and do it. But I don't know. Is that? That is very accurate. Ooh, nice. Said to someone. And I did not research. If you wanted them to stay calm or be patient, this idiom originated in America in the 1800s. At that time, clothes were expensive and men only owned one or two shirts. Therefore, they would remove their shirt before getting into a fight to stop it from getting ruined. Keep your shirt on. Nice. I, that's the only one I'll know, though, because when you ask me the other ones, I'll be like, uh, I don't. I don't uh, you got nothing, huh? Yeah, I didn't research. You, these were surprises. I was we like, promised. boom, I'm up, like, I, check me out making shit up. Yay. You're, you're going to be like 11 to 1 at the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a blowout. Yeah, a couple out. of them are pretty easy. But it's uh, totally okay. And you're over here still looking at burritos, you prick. I'm trying to help you out, man. Why? Because I love you. You're trying to make me fatter? I just love you, man. You're don't, such an get, don't get mad at me. Hey, dude, keep yeah. your shirt on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. I'm sure you do. Carne saw the burrito. All right, Carne number two, you ready? Me. Yes, sir. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Huh. I'm going to guess, like, they always thought their bosses were devils, and they just, that's what they said, speak of the devil, whenever they walked around a corner or something, if you were talking shit about them. Yes. I'm making shit. I'm making this up. That was pretty awesome. It's totally wrong. It started in in, in Mad Men. It's totally totally wrong, though, right? When Don Draper walked around the corner. Yeah, but Don Draper was not, he's a handsome devil. (laughs) (laughs) Because <laughs> I would have said, Hamm. speak of the handsome it's devil. That sexy motherfucker. God damn, John Ham is a fucking sexy beast. Uh, <laughs> how, so how did this happen? Uh, speak of the devil is a short form of the English language idiom, speak of the devil and doth he appear. Or its alternative form, speak of the devil and he shall appear. Yes, sir. You have a question before I finish. Is it Beetlejuice three times? I believe it is. Okay, just checking. This phrase... Maybe trace back to the 16th century. And for a long period of time, it implied the prohibition of mentioning the devil. That phrase is goddamn 400 years old, dude. That is crazy. Crazy. So basically, basically the- what had happened with that, they spoke of the devil. And then doth he appear. Doth. Isn't that a great word? It is a great word. You need to start using that more frequently. I, I would be Ravid Lee Doth. Yes, you I should. would change my name. Rot. I would leak. Never you more. Know, is, that a, is that a great Van Halen cover name? Yes. Ravid Lee Doth? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> that is a phenomenal cover band name. It is fantastical. We should, we should, we should, uh, you I, know, we should start a band. Okay. Now, now, dick, 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 can I, can I play the triangle or how's that going to work? Cause I have, I think you're not going to headbang. I'm going to tell you that is much. Correct. I, I have a headache I right now. I won't allow it. Dot yes. the call, call Satan. What if I, <laughs> uh, I think why doesn't like Duke university or Arizona state university use that as like one of their catchphrases, what? speak of the devils or um, w- cause speak of the blue devils. Cause fork and fuck are this are like, it's like innuendo. Well, they do fear the fork. Well, isn't is also issue. forkum devils? Isn't also forkum devils? I don't know that one. I know that one, and that's the one I've always used. Is forkum? Devils. I know it's so November seventh, like and shocker them devils. Is they're what beating it is. my team right now, but w- they're they're leading. 
13. I'm sure they already won. It's fine. I already predicted it that Southern Cal would lose, but that's Congrat- okay. Good prediction that USC has been sucking ass since they stopped cheating. Good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Because the team I supported didn't have like a 78 year old pedophile in it. Okay. Come you on. hurt my feelings. Sir. I just. I, I just told you that my. I, the didn't, team even, I, I didn't even go to school there. I, I, neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> I just told you that the team I supported had a 78 year old pedophile in it. So, like, come on, man. I, don't, I think a little cheating by Pete Carroll and Reggie Bush um, usurped that. And 10th. Uh, 10th, 10th overall pick, Matt Leinard, who made it in the NFL for three and a half days or so. Three years. Three years. Um, yeah. That's an interesting one, though. I don't know why they don't use it. But so basically what you're telling me, though, is back in the day it was illegal to even chant the devil's name for they were afraid that he would show up. There was the prohibition of mentioning the devil. Yeah. So speak of the devil in the in the medieval times. It's weird how it transitioned from like speak of the devil and the appears right, but it comes off of that that phrase. Yeah, now it's just speak of the devil. Right now it's just speak of the devil. And now and now you talk about we it anyway. That. Like if we said, oh hey, makes you uh, house makes you been doing, da, 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 and then she walks in the room. Yeah, well, and then speak we go of the devil. speak of the devil. But you can say, say that, speak of the angel though. Well, you yeah, but you know what I'm saying. But yeah. technically, shouldn't you say speak of the Megzi? You know, it, we're using the phrase. Very loosely, you know yeah, what I'm very saying? Very ambiguously. That's the devil. You. The devil is everyone. And it's funny because right. like it almost has a negative connotation to it in that way. Like speak of the devil because you're like, oh, shit, we just got busted talking shit about. Someone. No, but it's more ironic that we talked about them and they showed up. That's right. how I see it. I know. And I've always seen it like, you know, speak of the devil. We were saying something that they were like. Right. You know, something generally unkind. We were some, correct. Yes. That's but I, I say it as ironic where, but most people think well, of the neg- Alanis- negativity. Well, fuck. Alanisian. More a Are we the church of Alanis? We may be. Uh, Not Atlantis, you, but Alanis. Have you seen Dogma? Uh, Boop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's been a while. I will let you take that home. Do you have you. it? Yes. I would love that. And I also have that. I'll share it with you offline. Oh. Oh, and you'll uh, understand why it's not a big deal. It's oh, really not a big deal. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I know. It's totally cool. And you'll know, you'll know, and you'll know, I'll type it so that you, no one can see it. Cause it's really not important to, to bring up. We do it all the fucking time. I know, but we're not doing it in this one. I like one how you're taking notes, that. dude. No, no, that's, that's so for you. Virgo of that's you? what I have on DVD. I don't want to watch no, that. Oh, I was going to let you see if you wanted it. I don't want okay, it. Okay, cool. No, thank you. Anyway, see, that's, that's why it's. That's why it was going to happen offline, You're sir. So now, cute. now they listen to us argue. Well, you said you saw the other one. I just wanted you to I see did. the other oh, one. Oh, I didn't. I only watched about fifteen minutes. Okay. Well, and then I was like, I don't want. I'm done. Everyone should be exposed. Uh, I still have this thing called the thirteen minute rule. Don't don't. I'm not. That's why I was making a joke. Everyone should be exposed, right? And we are back on video, ladies and gentlemen. I totally forgot. Hopefully it works. Oh, today is also Tambian. I already said it. it's November seventh. You did? Yeah. Did you say it was 2020? No. Did, or did you? What what happens? Why three K? <laughs> <laughs> Something's going to explode this, for sure. This you video the will spontaneously disappear. Everybody panicked and yeah. shit. Like I had they to shat their pants. Like my I dad still s- has coffee from Y two K. Yeah, that's got to be gross. Probably. I'm not inheriting that shit. I'm just going to light a match to the house. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to like clean out the coffee or nothing. Just no, light it, up. it is gasoline match time. Fuck it. I'll sell the land. I don't give a shit. I'm not fucking cleaning out that house. Nope. Ah, not me. Mm-mm. Mm. Do you? What did you do on Y2K? Um, hope that it wouldn't do no, something. I mean, you, nothing bad would happen. What did you do? Did you, did you party? Did you? What, what did you do on that night? Oh yeah, I partied like it was 1999. <laughs> I did. Man. No. Yeah, I think it was 2000. Uh, it I was. Probably, you know what? We had a we had a gig. I'm sure I had a gig. Because I was in a cover band back okay. in the day, so I'm p- pretty certain that I played 2000 zero zero party over that. Oh God! I, I know exactly where I played. We played. I was with a band. I don't want to mention the name just in case it is incorrect. But they happened to win VH1 Cover Wars, the only season that ever opened. You're welcome. I sang with them. Uh, we were in some hotel, and there were like different levels, and they were playing different. They had like three or four different cover bands on different floors or something. It was a pretty cool like thing. That I remember, if I remember that correctly. Okay. I could be wrong. I was working. 
Oh. I had to stay sober and log into all my systems oh. remotely and verify none of them were broken. Yeah. And then I had a glass of Did champagne. anything happen to you? Not a fucking thing. Okay. Everything was perfect. Yeah, I'm glad we're talking about Y2K like 20 years later. Hey, speak of the hey, devil. Why didn't we talk about a Y2K, uh, why don't we do a Y2K flashback? Uh, ooh, today's ooh. episode, Christopher brings up ooh, ooh. 12 phrases that he's never heard. Oh, and Y2K, Y2K. makes a fucking turn, right. comeback. Moving along. Stay on target. After. Stay on target. <laughs> I'll have to think of a new one. Coffee. Coffee now. Coffee must have derailed me. This is 20 years old. After Speak of the Devil, sir, we have Slip of the Tongue. Okay. Yes. You brought this one up before we, we talked about but I haven't looked at it, and I have no fucking clue where, from where it came. Okay. Slip of the Tongue. Yeah. I know the meaning of it. So the, etym- the meaning of it's like it comes out without you, like you didn't mean to say it. Yes. comes out okay is it boat oriented with tying ropes to the boat and it's on a slip and it comes off and it and it gets released and you lose it dude that's a really but no <laughs> i knew it was not but like <laughs> fuck give me a little cre- like creativity prop for that incorrect. Incorrect. and we're but, all stupider for hearing that oh thank you <laughs> uh, you know it's like scrappy or was it? You got a fu- You got a responsibility. You got to find that do- that fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> ah, shit. We're all dumber after. I thought that was pretty good. A slip, like a boat slip. Yeah. And, like it doesn't get on the tongue, which is a metal piece, and then you lose it. Like it gets away from you. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm. Pre- I'd like to re. Uh, I'd like to reintroduce that as the etymology of that and see if some if it holds up in court. You should put it on Wikipedia and see if, <laughs> I'd see if it sticks. Wikipedia and go and maybe make a poll and see which one you yeah, think the truth is. I love it. We should play Balderdash poll. Okay. We should go. What do the, What does this mean? This or this? And like, we'll just they're both made up. Okay. And someone will pick, and we'll just yeah. Go, ha, 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 you dumb bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you have to save Scrappy. So what happened, bro? Slip how's, of how's, the how's, tongue. Yeah. How do we slip tongues? An error in speaking in which a word is pronounced incorrectly. Or which the speaker says something unintentionally. I didn't mean to tell her that it was a slip of the tongue. Originated in 1901. By a gentleman that we've spoken of quite frequently. Well, that's interesting. Because I was going to say, is that akin to Freudian slip? Yes, it is. Boom. I didn't know. I had no idea, dude. As soon as you said, I'm like, I didn't want to jump. I, I think... Today has been November 7th and is still November 7th. I was 7th. like, I, I did, was, did I, is it past fucking midnight? You will attest and the previous video will show. Yeah. The re- let the record show that we had a previous podcast to this. Yes. Let the, pre- let the record show that I also really sat on my hands and was trying to be very conscientious of not being an asshole to you by talking over you all the time. Yes. I also was doing it in this case. That's why I did not bring up Freudian slip. You should have said it, it. It popped in the middle of the thing, and I wanted you, you to finish. You should have said it. I wanted you to finish. I still got it before you said it, so you it's, not like, it's not like we tricked. Okay, so tell us about the Freudian slip, sir. Dr. Sigmund Freud first wrote about this concept in his 1901 book, The Psycho- Psychopathology of Everyday Life. In 1979, researchers at UC Davis found that Slips of the tongue occur most frequently when individuals are under stress or speaking quickly. This is what I found amazing. A slip of the pen was first reported to be used in the 1650s. I thought Uh, that was... Is it now called slip of the tweet? (laughs) (laughs) That's some funny shit. Boom. Yeah. Am I right? Am I right? (laughs) <laughs> a sl- a slip. So it started a slip of the pen. And I thought that was interesting how it's metamorphosized. Again, a phrase that's 400 years old, 450. So I think that was, I think that's cool. That's interesting because how do you miswrite something? <laughs> well, or if you, if you say there instead of there or independently versus independently or attention instead of intention. You reread it and then cross it out and then correct it. Yeah, in 1650, they didn't have white out, right? Or maybe it literally was a slip of the pen. Maybe you were on a ship and it it was, there was waves and shit and the pen went and you, it was a slip of the pen. Like, I'm looking this shit up now. Oh dear fuck. I already told you, dude. 
Keep going. Cruise frequently. Yeah. Da, da, da. A slip of the pen was first reported to be used in the 1650s by the British. Slip of the pen. Definitions by Oxford. La, la, what la. the fuck? What, what kind of fucking? <laughs> what, what? See, I de- slip of the pen, sir. I just signed T's and C's just to read the fucking definition. Slip of the pen. Uh, go down to idiom right there. Idiom. Two, two more. Three more. Two, down to down. This. One more. This one. Boom. Okay. Slip, slip. slip I meant to pen. tell my mother she was welcome to call over next Monday, but I actually wrote next month, so they actually miswrote stuff. Well, I do that all the time. But, I, but you proofread, do you not? No, like in in like um. Instant message? Yeah. I do truck instead of trunk. Because my I just type too fast and I'm a dipshit. I actually type thanax all the time. Thanax? Thanax instead of thanks. I love thanax. I thanax it. <laughs> I flip my N and my A. Thanax. Thanax like though. pretzels? I messaging, message systems and tweet. Oh, well, yeah. Tweet, no, message systems do not count. I agree. But when it comes to email and writing, I agree. Yes. You proofread and fix. Monday and, yes. and month are very fucking different. I agree completely. Just saying. Yeah. But, <coughs> interesting. I, I think that's total bullshit. I think my <laughs> definition of being on a ship and the <laughs> pen slipping on the paper is totally accurate and amazing, and I may not be correct. Why is my slip on the tongue and get getting away from the boat getting away in the first place not good? That, I like that also. I'm just saying you and I are better than the guy the cyber webs. That's yeah, what we can make is. up better fucking stories. That's what, what ex- that's fucking what I'm saying. Dude. Yeah, I agree. Shit. Kudos, I'm sorry. Man. What's We're today's fucking ex- awesome? I'm sorry. What is the phrase of the day? I'm on your team, bro. We are, bro. We we have been on each other's teams for a long time. I mean, not that team, but you know what I'm saying. No, we're on the same team on that. Yeah. Technically, because we both like the same thing. So we technically are on the same team. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way I view it. I don't know. Maybe I said it wrong. Totes my goats, bro. Tell me if I'm wrong, everybody. Just You're wrong, don't, everybody. Because I'm, I am wrong. Because he has a fragile little ego. You have an apple. Shut up. <laughs> you hurt my feeling again. <laughs> oh, that one feeling my you one have feeling. left? My one feeling. My one feeling. My one oh, feeling, my baby feeling. Will you shut up, you little person. You you have you say you you say you're all this greatness, and I'm a nerd. You're a nerd. You what is what's a nerd? I don't know. In uh, the Czech Republic, what's that, a nerd? It's a little candy, crunchy candy, uh, different yay! color. Remember, That's, grape. Your tongue turned color. You're yes. like ah ah ah. Just like that. Was, oh, thanks to Podmunity, by the way. Yes. Did not, I'm, I apologize. At Podmumma Unity, right? I think it's at P O D M M U N I T Y. They put us in their little, like, binge worthy podcast. Shout outs and shit. Yeah, thank you. Very kind. Very kind Muchas of you. Muchas gracias. We are doing our best when we see people asking for certain things of podcasts that we follow or that we've seen or that we've cr- come across. To say, hey, instead of like always self promoting, yeah, I'm on there a lot. We should cross promote sometimes. Please give us some help. Please give us some help. But no, uh, for real, awesome people. Right. Mm. Okay, so slip of the tongue, Freudian slip, slip of the pen. It is interesting. So why, why, how do they associate them with Freudian slip if it really came from slip slip of the pen? It didn't need to have a Freudian slip unless Freudian slip came from slip of the pen also. I'm wondering if he stole it or did he Okay. Did he just steal slip of the pen and say slip of the tongue? Did did Dr. Freud popularize the phrase slip of the tongue? Right. And then because of him, slip of the tongue and Freudian slip are the same thing. Well, what's interesting, and you do understand the Freudian slip. Generally, yeah, it's got it's a sexual connotation. Usually has a sexual, but even beyond that, it tends to have that Oedipal comment. Remember he yes. always said about he, you loved you, your mother yeah, and all that shit? Yeah, it's horrible. So it had some, <sighs> some, was it horrible or was it horrible? It's horrible. So it has a CH There's three H's and a C. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's got no C in it, bro. But what? Connecticut has three C's. Connecticut. Per the last what did one. you say last time? I said it has one no, C. No, the it has serial two C's. Kill, no, it has no, three serial C's. knitter. Has a silent K? Oh, yeah. Serial <laughs> Knitter's PK. It's a silent P and a silent K. <laughs> My mom's Psychic. A, psychotic Knitter. Psycho Knitter. Psycho Knitter. What did I, is that S- what something, I call her? Psycho Knitter it's or Psycho It's been an hour. I already forgot what I call her. Yeah, it's still funny, but Fucking it's a PK shit, and it's, they're dude. both silent. 
anyway, um, so the Freudian slip part, it was Oedipal and also sexual in general nature. So he was a sick fucker. I should read one of his books. Yeah. Just, um, just we're watching. What, we're watching Century Self. I know, but I mean, left. I'm wondering, like, so our next, like, literally, sorry. what was all the fuss about? Because he's a incredibly well known figure, worldly figure, and I lit. I've I've said literally twice now in one sentence. I've never read one. Is that, did that replace your actually from the forty two? Actually, times literally, you said it? I've never read one word of his. I just know the term Freudian slip. Right. But we're watching Century of Self. And we that, are. That they talk about his psychology that his daughter and that his, nep his yes. nephew also yes. very much promoted here. And we saw the results. Yes. And we're see continuing. See, we still have two left. But and the next one is. He was obsessed with the study of people, right? I mean, he predicted World War One, basically. Well, he just said people were evil and then they just happened to do that. And he's like that. He felt that confirmed his theories. But I also don't know if it did. Right. Like, I think it, it did. It could have also just coincided. Or perhaps he's no Dradamus. He could be, but then he'd be fighting Irish all the time if he's no Dradamus. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Or he'd be burning. Yes. Like, because it burned. It's terrible. The, oh, I was talking about the university, the not, the, not the one in France. No, the France one. I know. Oh, okay. I talk about both, because I both. talk about the fighting Irish. Yes. And the fighting French. Oh. <laughs> like they fight. <laughs> French. Just give me some cheese and champagne, bro. Yeah, you know, give I'm me some French, chance. right? Yeah, give me some fucking wine and cheese, bitches. Yeah, I know. Whatever, bro. You, you're like one. You're Elizabeth Warren French. I get it. <laughs> she's French. No, she's in. She's Native American. Oh, I. Oh. When the, then she took a DNA test, and she has less Native American than I have African in me. Just so you know, That's... and I have 0.2 percent African. So, just, can I go? That's how lies work. <laughs> Just say, uh, I'm Native American. Woohoo! Let's take a DNA test. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. I'm 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 not. But my mom told me I was. It's like when my mom tells me I'm pretty. My mom said I'm pretty. So I am. You're yeah. I, your mom is correct, sir. You're handsome, sir. You're, You're fucking handsome. gorgeous. And, and that little rainbow that I just see creeping into the into the screen. It just oh man, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so back to Freud. Yeah, what? Well, what's that we, guy? Should we get something on audiobook? Should we dissect a Freudian book or something sometime on Casey? Yes or no? But I don't. I think I should read something of his. Okay, I maybe think we'll it, audiobook some. You sh you go right ahead oh. and do that or not. I don't you, care. You read, I, I think that. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. Man. I'm just saying, fucker. Maybe yeah, not worth our time, but I think he's a very famous figure, and it would be worth my time to read something of his. That's it's that's on me only. Irregardless, he's an interesting. He's a sick fucker. He's a, well, he's an interesting study, regardless of yes. what he is. Yes. He's interesting. Yes. You know? Yes. Slip of the pun, slip of the tongue, Freudian slip. Yes. All that shit. Done. Yes. What do we got next? Up next is an amazing lyric by the 80s metal band Rat. Round and round. My first up concert. And announce any feeling time. I'll tell you why. Loose. And also Geico commercials. Yes, because they have a rat problem. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking terrible. <laughs> best concert, not the best concert. First concert, though, LA Sports Arena, 1989. Loose links, loose lips sink ships. Excuse me. Loose lips sink ships. Before we continue, my yes, first sir. concert was a Moody Blues concert. Yeah. It was before 89. I just don't remember when, but I was drug along because my brother went and my mommy took us. And she, because she went thinks there, you're pretty. And I went, Mom, what stinks? Mom, something's burning. It stinks. She's like, shut the fuck up. Shut up. And I'm, I'm trying like, to get high. I'm like, Mom, I don't understand. What smells so bad? And I'm like, fucking 11. Okay. Give me a fucking break, people. So that would have been. 84, 85. No, 85 or 86. So that's crazy. Uh, 84, 80. Yeah, 85 or 86. I don't know. But I remember going, doing that and being a, being, you know, just the typical Mark asshole that, Were you, that comes Did you get a contact high? I just smelled funny. Remember? It smelled funny. It was just of course. wafting. Yeah. And it was a stink weed. Remember, it was like the 80s. It so was like, shitty weed. It's not like they had medical anything anywhere. So you're <laughs> buying, you were basically pulling fucking ragweed out of it the sidewalk crap. and fucking lighting. You're, yeah, you were smoking pencil shavings at that point. It's not like, <laughs> it just smelled like someone took a shit and lit it on fire. We gonna take this shit and we gonna set it on fire. <laughs> it's like that. But I just remember my 
getting, you know, I was reprimanded for pointing out that someone was smoking marijuana. I didn't know. I was 11. What's <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I went to see rap my first concert, uh, yes. I was driving, I was 17. How old were you? 17. So, 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 so. 17. I was with a buddy from high school and a buddy of his and his buddy, I pick him up in my parents' station wagon and he gets in the backseat of the car with a case of bud. I was like, oh, okay. Never had, I had never had a drink in my life. Really? Ne never had seen a drug. Like I lived a very sheltered young little life. Right. And <laughs> We pull into, we drive from the suburbs into LA, the LA sports arena, like right next, like in South Central LA. The, this, the windows are down. It's like, you know, who knows? It's a beautiful day in LA, right? Saturday night, Saturday afternoon, sun's up. The, I'm in the parking space. The car is still running. A random dude puts his head in the back window and goes, you guys want some shrooms? <laughs> and I, I still remember shit to this day like uh drugs y drugs do you want some drugs are you in here for drugs are you in here for drugs <laughs> like, you know no her drugs i'm in here for drugs i never uh, and everyone's like no man we're good thanks a lot i was like it's beautiful I, I didn't say a word i was like i don't even know what a shroom is man like i didn't know <laughs> and now we're gonna legalize it in a few years yeah right and now you can go over to colorado for and free you're like shit just pay shipping and handling. Oh, it was so, I'll never forget that. It was hysterical. That, that was is awesome. hilarious. And then I went inside and I saw Kicks, Winger, and Rat. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, we probably could have a, you know, we should have a concert fucking podcast because oh it just God. makes me think about 50 concerts that just popped in my head about stupid shit that people do at concerts. And like my worst three people or three band concert thing or whatever, just the weirdest one. Anyway, um, like Faith No More and Metallica. No, no, That's like your last terrible. one, you just said Kicks, like Kicks, Winger, Winger, Rat. Rat. Mine was, and I'm Stone Temple Pilots fan. I love, but it was Stone, it was Flaming Lips, Ugh. Stone Temple Pilots, and Butthole Surfers. Butthole Surfers. <laughs> but they, of course, they did some sublime stuff. So it's yeah. kind of cool that they did Summertime, the the remix. But still, it's like weird. Yeah, it's still weird. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what well, loose was lips sink <laughs> ships. That's all like, is okay, man. We talked about okay, say so, okay, 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 okay. Psychic ability. Yeah. Your last one was slip of the tongue, and what was I talking about? I don't know. Where did I go? I talked about a rope around a slip at a boat and the oh, boat getting away. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. next fucking top. The next one you talk about is fucking loose lips sink ship for real. That's yeah. the next one. Uh -huh. And I'm just talking about fucking a boat getting away from a slip, slip of the tongue. Just a thought. Do you want to guess where this started, or should I just move along? You know, I'm really confused by this one because talking would cause a mutiny. That's exactly what I thought as well. And that is incorrect. Okay. I, I was very surprised by this stupid expression from a rat song. I'm very, I'm very confused because <laughs> I have no idea what is after that. All right. Loose lips. I love ships. that you and I thought the exact same thing because that once again points to us being awesome. Totally wrong. And always wrong, but still totally awesome. Dude, don't it. spill, bro. Oh my God. A loose lip sink ships is an American idiom meaning beware of unguarded talk. This phrase originated on propaganda posters during World War II. The phrase was created by the War Advertising Council and used on posters by the United States Office of War Information. Loose lips sink ships. I don't understand the sink ship part. I'm assuming it, they had like Navy ships on the posters and stuff. Like, okay. shut the fuck up. Sure. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I, lo I love the phrase, I, and I use it. Look, I'm old timey. I still old speak of tomfoolery and Tom shenanigans and, yes. you know, uh, rough housing. Yeah. Uh, r rambunctious behavior. Rambunctiousness. Rambunctiousness. Rebel rousing. Oh, that's the best. All the all these old timey things, I'm all on board, but I didn't. That doesn't even sound like it had a beginning with a ship. Bless you, my child. The point is that if I wasn't a hair metal fan, this wouldn't be on the fucking list because it's kind of dumb. I love the phrase and I'll use it all the time. <laughs> so let's sink some ships, bitches. Bitches. All right, what we got next? That a watched pot doesn't boil. 
So that I think that's almost uh, dumb. Uh, well, I just think it's literal. Where yeah. the longer you stare at something, the slower time a per is perceived. That's totally accurate. Excellent choice. Well, that, well, that's that's what it means, though. Anyway, yes. But is that actually where? <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I believe I have a current in my throat. Ooh. I need to clear my current. Good idea. A wash pot doesn't boil is a poetic way of saying that time seems to slow down when one when one is waiting for something to happen desperately. Benjamin Franklin wrote this proverb proverb excuse me under his pseudonym poor richard poor richard's almanac in his annual almanac during the years <laughs> yeah. between 1732 and 1758 o'doyle rules <laughs> a watch pot doesn't boil um he also had syphilis i just wanted to say poor richard did or well Benjamin both Franklin? of them because they were the same oh, okay. guy but yeah there's actually a cool uh there's so many fucking awesome places in Philadelphia. Like should, a syphilis museum? You should come with us sometime uh, and, and go and just check it out. Like and not meet your parents? You no, not meet not they will I'd like they to go. Won't even know. I would love to go. You know what you know how they'll know that we went? We'll do a podcast about it when we get back. <laughs> I listen to your podcast. You um, cuss too much, little guy. Yeah, say, um Little Maki. Did I share that story yet? I didn't share the story about the airport. Oh jeez again. Welcome to Tangents 18.63, paragraph C. Um, Subsection. My madre and my padre are 76 and 80, respectively. I think, yeah, that was a great smart idea. <laughs> That's... I think there's a book how to how to lose podcast listeners and alienate other podcast don't listeners. Don't get a Ziploc bag close to the microphone. That don't, made me laugh though, dude. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was actually when I watched you. I was like, uh oh, you're intentionally doing it. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. No, ignorantly doing it. I just like everything I, I do is intentional, one. bro. Everything. Everything I do is attentional. Even even your even your bowel movements are attentional. I don't think you pay attention too much to this. Ooh, that one sounds like it was wet. <laughs> My parents fly home from Florida because they they say fuck COVID. Um, they're they're elderly. They're seventy six and eighty. Even even as healthy as they are, that a flight and then they have to take a train to you know that takes a little bit out of you. You know travel right. So <laughs> they get on the plane. They get on the train, and my brother picks them up with his daughter, so their grandchild. He's in the front seat. His daughter's in the passenger seat in the front. And my parents get in the car. It was raining. Sorry, had to mention that it was raining, of course. <laughs> and the first words out of my father's mouth is, your intermittent wipers are too slow. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> That's the funniest shit I've ever heard. Like, not like, hey, not even hi. Like, your intermittent wipers are too slow. Your brother didn't, like, get out of the car to help them with the luggage or... I'm sure that's what happened. I'm sure that happened. Hi, it was, was it, it a hug? I I can't speak... This is the story from my madre. So it's, it is secondhand, but it's from her. So I had firsthand stories. So I'm telling it secondhand. But the kicker to it is my mom goes, he was right, by the way. It was raining really hard, but I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> like you know why because she used my dad as a human shield she knew he was going to say it first it's like the, totally the funniest thing i've ever heard i i had that for for my whole lifetime just, just that, oh, that's everything in my that's life that's why you called me Rita earlier when i said there was a lot of sodas on the yes counter. you motherfucker that's why i called you Rita. I, there was like five asshole. sodas up here i go god damn there's a lot of sodas over here and you, and you had thanks rita and i was like who the fuck is rita he goes my mom like i didn't know her fucking name Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> but when he told me, it's like me, Beetlejuice. You just said it twice. Do not say it a third time. The me, phone but then ring. when he told me Rita's name, I love you, mom. I'm. J <laughs> I know. I love you. Just so you know, I love you so much. But we have to admit, some crazy shit happens with with some people. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. but when you told me Rita's name, I was. That's when yeah. it was fucking funny. Yeah. 
And I'm sorry, Rita, we cussed so fucking much. Yeah. I mean, not at all. We are fucking sorry about that, Mom. (laughs) (laughs) But, like, yeah, like, your windshield wipers are on too slow. Oh. Uh, Hi. (laughs) I just just picture it. Like, and then think about that in my entire childhood. And then think about why it took till 45 plus to, like, start this. Just push all that into one little box and we're moving forward and we're walking we're walking we're walking we're walking let's move forward i just that was just an aside but the story itself was funny oh do you have to end it with a oh the stick of fury show it show it stick of fury smell it Thanks. smell it take it take it oh take it good oh are we done with the watch pot sir yeah yeah and that one totally is. I mean, it's so true. Do you feel that all the all the time that your perception slows when you're really excited or really? Um, not so much anymore, but in my past, yes, absolutely. Drives to Vegas feel faster than drives home. Always the case. Because I feel like I want to get home. I just want to get home like after the weekend. Yes. And perception, perceptionally, absolutely, perceptually, perceptually, it's perception. Never mind. Perceptually. Yes. It's longer. Up next is play it by ear. Be excellent to each other. Also. Uh, Play it by ear. Uh, So no one had ideas and they're like, everyone just shout out an idea and we'll go with that. How'd you know? Is that right? No. Okay. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) <laughs> I'm um, so I'm like oh for I'm one for eighteen so far and we've only done six of them. Yeah, your math is really weird, dude. Um, yeah, weird. That's gonna be the uh, next quote. Your math is really what's weird. What's fucked up is that I've heard my. This is one of my dad's favorite expressions. Hey, we'll just play it by ear. Like it's hey, one of go, mine also. We're actually. going to the Rams game this weekend, and uh, you know we yeah, 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 we'll just play it by ear. I've heard it a thousand times, and I had no idea that it was about music. And now I read, I'm like, oh. That of, really makes sense. Of course it's about music. I'm a ding dong. So they follow... Okay, go ahead. I'm, the original meaning of this term was to play music without sheet music, meaning you either remembered the music or improvised it. From there, it came to mean other types of meaning as long as you go along. If a quarterback plays it by ear, he abandons the call play and tries something different. That the is, phrase played by ear is much later. The first record of it was in 1839. That is really interesting. Yeah. I really like that one. I, I would have never equated it to that. It makes perfect sense. I would have equated it to talking. Tell me what's next. Yeah, like, it's, but if you can play it by right. ear, it's can make, it by ear, you can oh, follow Oh, you each play other. the violin. Right. Oh, you play the piano. Yeah. Oh, you like, oh, you can just hear a song and then you can play it on the guitar. Uh, spoiler, it's the only way I could play is play it by ear. I can't, I can't read notes, but I can, I could pretty much mimic I don't almost read so anything. good. I've got a really good ear. You have two. I, I've, you know what? You know what's interesting? Um, I've feel, I feel a little uncomfortable. Why? I've. I feel like I've tooted my horn in this episode. Do you have misophilomia? No. I, well, I do. <laughs> but I feel like I tooted my horn a few times. This pure, and I'm not uncomfortable, I'm not comfortable with that. I suck. No oh, shit. Okay. I'm good, man. No, I feel, I'm confident with who I am. I just feel like I've said that too much. So I need to beep, back beep, it up. beep, back, back it up, okay. slow it down. Um, play, that's a beautiful one. I like that one. I like the etymology of that one. I concur. What are you doing? Just looking around? Being, biting, biting my tongue. Being so weird. Bleeds, waiting Up for you next, to talk. the devil finds work for idle hands. That's two devil expressions. I've always heard idle hands are the devil's workshop. Yes. Is that the same That's, thing? Uh... A similar phrase also exists, which says an idle mind or brain is a devil's workshop. Okay. I've always, maybe it's a East Coast, maybe it's kind of like the Jimmy Sprinkles thing. Yeah. But my phrase that I recall is idle hands are the devil's workshop. Basically the same thing. Yes, sir. Which is mind and thought, all that. Um, where I would think is um, not being productive is against the future of humanity. Whoa. 
Whoa. So wrong. <laughs> it's great. But that's, that's amazing. That's a great fucking answer. I know. It's Are fun. you seeing I, Jerome? I'm not saying anything, sir. Uh, Why? This saying, Who is St. Jerome? This saying was originated by St. Jerome in <laughs> the year 365 in Latin. Oh. In English, it can be traced back to the 12th century. That'd be the 1100s. By Chaucer. I could do the maths. Jeffrey? Jeffrey Chaucer. The guy that was in Knight's Tale? Yes. Je I that, love The same naked guy that knows how to gamble. <laughs> Lady Van Ulrich. Ulrich von Lichtenstein. Golden Chaucer. Years, golden years. Oh, oh, oh. oh sorry. Uh, hello, it's called Lance. <laughs> Better to be a silly girl with a flower than a boy with a stick. Uh, Jeffrey Chaucer referred to idols, idle hands being the devil's tools. Okay. So that expression goes back 1,700 years. Jesus. What? That was 1,100? Well, no, this was a oh. saying by St. Jerome in 13, in, sorry, right. 360 Three. AD. Right. But, but it was then in, it was in Latin and then in English. 900 years in English. Correct. Okay. I was just, Correct. I'm just trying to get the numbers right because it's something I had it in your Yes. Here. Don't, not too soon, bro. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's two devils so that's sorry. interesting I'm, i didn't realize that till now yeah. i don't think we have any more devils. But, but what does it mean like why why would he refer to it that way blah, blah, blah. i have no idea because like i actually came up with a reason why i would yeah. think that i guess don't be idle because yeah. that is gonna cause trouble no i'm sorry this is why okay, keep yourself please. busy yeah so you can keep having to feed your fucking kids because you don't wear protection so you can give church 10% everything. Well, in the year um, 1158 and 365 AD, there were no prophylactics. Prophylactics. Say, say it like Ford Fairlane. Prophylactics. Thank you. No, my point is, but they, they didn't let you pull out either, I don't think. I think you're supposed to keep oh, it, keep, did, keep it in Oh, when did the rhythm your... method start? This is a terrible... I withdraw the question. I, my, my simple point is... <laughs> this saint fucker just need more money for his fucking church. He need another 10%. So he's like, if you don't work more, then you're being like the devil. They go, oh God, I don't want to be like the devil. And then they said, you just use the Lord's name in vain. You're being like the devil. And they said, oh my goodness, I can't be like the devil. Oh. And then they worked harder, made more, were more productive, and gave 10% of Still the more. more. And then? And then? No more and then. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. <laughs> Does that make uh, sense? Shrimp fried rice. That's why. That's why. Rockery. I love how I uncover systems like that because that's exactly the fraud that that mother Saint Jerome just came up with. Was yeah, work harder so that I get ten percent of the more work that you do. Sounds good to me. Ta -da. Uh, uh, Spare fingers. It's fucking terrible that yes. you might be right. Yeah, I, I'm. I think I'm very accurate in this case, and that's shocking oh, that's and scary. Well, no, isn't that scary though? That that could be poss thats a possibility. Yeah, and it and it kind of feels right, like you, in you a weird what, way. Do you right? know what I need? What I need a pasta ability. Do you know? Oh. Some penne, macaroni and cheese, fucking baked ziti and shit. I, you know which one I like? One of my favorites. What's that? The cavatabi. I don't know what that means. The but spirally it, thing with the oh, grooves. Oh yes, the real tight one, the one at oregano's when you get. Uh, ladies, a scampi. Oh, the curly cues that are tight, tight like a toyga. We need to have a pasta cast. <laughs> a, a pasta podsta cast. Yes, a pasta podcast. We have two already, man. How many more can we put out that are eight hours long each? <laughs> I mean, like a. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> a pasta googles. <laughs> Post oh yeah, we'll do it. We'll do well. We'll do beer googles, the pasta cast, or and then we'll talk about all our favorite kinds of pasta. We'll go. We love all of them. Thanks for having a great show. It was nine seconds. Air guitars and shit. That's how that would work out. Yes. I have no idea where we're at. Uh, we are, we're at Jeffrey Chaucer. Oh yeah, Saint Jerome. The devil finds work for idle hands, and idle hands are the devil's workshop. That's so. That is so, that's exactly where it came from. That's exactly what they did. They fucking manipulated morons back then. Don't they do that now? Yeah, but it was different. I'm saying even way back then they, they had there was people smart enough that could out manipulate these morons. Oh yeah, of course. 
Now, I don't know how they got better because I feel like it's the same message and we've gotten smarter. I don't know how I don't know how we do it. I just don't understand. I'm blind trying. luck. Why is luck blind? I thought about that putting that on here too. Oh, did you put blind luck on? I know it? I should have. Oh, should I can I beer Google's it while Fuck we're talking? Yeah, let's blind luck this Fine. bitch. Okay. Why uh, is why no, is luck next? blind? Does that just happen? Is I don't it just know. I don't know. Let we're going to look it up, us, but is, what's the next one? Uh, oh, while we're doing one, it, we'll put that one in. We'll sneak. Cannot in. go home. The original quote: "You can never go home again." Was originated by the author Thomas Wolfe in 1940. Wolfe took the title from a conversation with a fellow writer, Ella Winter, who remarked to Wolfe, "Don't you know you can't go home again?" Wolfe then asked Winter for permission to use this phrase as a title of his book. One cannot go home. What does it mean? It means you can't go home, bro. But is that like energetic? Like, is I think, it, you can't go home because you're different when you come back than when you left? Yeah, I think it means once you've grown up, you can't reclaim your youth or your childhood. Okay. That would be my guess. Kind of like you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. Is that one of them? No. That's can't right. see behind the curtain? No. Yeah, but yeah, you know, it's not toothpaste back in the tubes. Got to be recent, right? More yeah, recent, you made it up three months 40s. ago. <laughs> I, made, <laughs> I made it up. You did that. I did not. I make, learned it by watching you, Mark. Sir, I did not make up. Put the toothpaste back. In the, you can't put the toothpaste. <laughs> yes, back. you did. I did not invent that state. I can tell you. I would love to take the fucking credit for that, but there's Aren't, no way that I make up anything of relevance. Didn't, yeah, you're Doctor no, Toothpaste. No. Yes. I just said, look, I tried to fill a hole with white toothpaste and I suck at it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Blind luck. Yes, what sir. do you think the origin of blind luck is, sir? This is a terrible thing. I'm going to say a blind man won bingo. Oh, interesting. Oh, I was way off. The Greek goddess Tyche, I think, T-Y-C-H-E, Tyche? Yes. Fortuna to the Romans is likely the inspiration for this idiom. As the goddess of luck, she had the ability to cause favorable or destructive events on people at random. At people at random. That's a period, not a comma. In iconography, Tyche was sometimes depicted wearing a blindfold, oh. dispersing blessings at random. That makes total sense. Do you think that that could be... The original design of Lady Justice. I was, yeah, I went right to that did second I, I read that. Did I, I'm I sorry. Fu- no, because I fucking, no. That, I didn't mean to steal your thought, bro. You did. We, we have what stolen a, each other. We, what a, we have reclaimed we, and repurposed each other's thoughts all throughout this. How many times have I said your thing and how many times we're good? We have like a reclaiming device. I think, you know, honestly, we, we're tied. We're good. Okay. Um, in this case, I love that because I thought the same thing. But I'm just thinking justice being blind would have a blindfold. It just happened to be this god goddess had it. But remember, holding the scale is where the matter. Yes, right? of course. So being blind is being objective. Yes. Yeah. I don't. Th- it's not random to me. It's, yeah. It's intentionally covering yourself from bias. Yes. And this one's to not weigh something. And this is only that this is to just do it at random blind luck versus blind justice. Right. I totally so, but, agree. But the second I see blindfold, I, I read that. I thought exactly where you're at. I love how our brain works. Cause like it, has our nothing brain? To do, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Our brain it's our, it's like if it's right here, actually it's like right in this area. Are we like the Borg or are we like, you know, I'm green skinned and blah, 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 blah. I've got a real bad eye. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> Dude, that's exactly how they talk. That's exactly how they talk. That was talk. so good. <laughs> that was excellent. Excellent, sir. I'm, I'm that was the about. best Borg impersonation. That was better than Jessica's huge Trump. I love not saying her name correctly. Huge. <laughs> So apparently, uh, we can't go home and we don't have blind luck. <laughs> and you can't drink Diet Dr. Pepper without breathing it in. I always thought the term was, you can never go home again. The original quote is, you can never go home again. That is correct. I did state that. Okay. Because, and that's where it was philosophical. Like, you, because you're not the same person and it's not the same place. That yeah, I like. Yes, I like the way you worded that. Right. Yes. So you can never go home again because home is a feeling. 
It's not the property for sure. In this case, it's an existential thing. It's a feeling home is how it was built and your memories and your nostalgia. Yeah. And when you leave and you grow and you escape that vacuum that really home is and come back home might be slightly different, but you definitely are different. Yeah. So it's a, there's a gap between, between that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I'm ready to take a nap now. I feel great. <laughs> where, where are we at, man? What's next? It's a good thing that you precogged this one from two hours ago on the previous podcast. Are you fucking kidding me? Would I ever joke about such a thing? You joke about a lot of you things, didn't like make, turkey you, burger. You didn't use the... That's true. <laughs> I do joke about a lot of turkey burgers. And not everybody knows it, and you, they don't have the context, and they're like, uh, uh, but uh it's, they have a cognitive dissonance, and their head fucking scared. Yeah, but when you go to the most expensive steakhouse in the state, and you say you're going to get the turkey burger, that's funny as shit. I don't give a fuck who you are. No, that just means you broke as shit. <laughs> no, that's why you go to Red Robin. <laughs> not <laughs> Dead Robin. Ugh. <laughs> not yum. Yep. Uh, next on the list, you used the wrong animal, but you referenced the correct phrase. A tiger cannot change its stripes. I said leopard can't change you, its spots. You, yes, that's exactly what you said. Yes. But I, what, I, I was like, I was like, oh yeah. Oh, I'm going to save it. I remember. Yeah. yeah. Um, thank you for saving. It, You're welcome. So much nicer. Um, may we start with, yeah, go ahead. No. What do we got? Because you already blew your load twice. Yeah. So there it is. Uh, <laughs> tiger can't change its stripes. Once you learn something, it's pretty fixed in, in most lexicons. Hard to change. Yes, sure. sure. I like more the adage over the phrase. Um, the one about the fox and the scorpion or the frog and oh, the scorpion. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? May I? I am who I am. Yeah, no, go ahead. Can we do it? How about we do it back and forth like a story time? No, I don't I don't think I can. Oh, uh, okay. I well, mean, I would like to, but I don't think I could do it correctly. Okay. So a frog yeah. was with was uh, on the other side of a river and he wanted to get across. Yeah. Scorpion comes up and is like, hey, bro, can I hitch a ride? And the frog's like, uh, you're, you're a scorpion. Why would I let you... Why would I do that? You're going to kill me. And Scorpion's like, bro. I <laughs> <laughs> love you, man. <laughs> this is the worst story time ever. Oh, it's fucking like, funny. I feel like, can people fall asleep to once upon a time? It was so a the frog's frog like, and a scorpion. Frog's like, you're going to kill me, bro. And then I'm going to drown. And the Scorpion's like, you're so silly. You, you're so silly. Because if I sting you and you drown... I'm going to fucking drown with you. Duh. So then the frog's like doing that emoji. This one, which? The, the, the thinking, contemplator. Yeah. The contemplating emoji. Okay. This one? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it looks like the that. IPod, but the I, the iTunes people can't see you. Much less, much, much more yellow and much less like ugly. Yes. Um, yeah, but we're on video now. Yeah, again. well, not iTunes, bro. We're and not Spotify on video yet because I don't know how to. F I don't know how to put video together. Crotch. I'm such an idiot with video. I'm not an idiot about other stuff. So the frog's like, "Hey, that was a really good point. If I let you swim and you stay me, I drown, you drown. Mutual assured destruction." So the frog's like, "Hop on board, scorpion. I think you got a sound plan." So they start swimming out together and they're like. Whoosh. Like a uh, Super Mario, yes, blue, 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 or like Frogger, yeah, blink, 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 um, and halfway across, Frog's like, "Ow, what the fuck?" Scorpion's like, "Sorry, bro," and the Frog's like, "You just stung me. Now we're both gonna die. Why the fuck would you do that?" And he goes, "What does he say, sir?" I'm a scorpion. Uh, I can't change my stripes. That's what I do. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fucking hilarious. But ba yeah, I don't I, know the punchline. That's no, it's I, a, I'm a scorpion. That's what I do. Oh, okay. I, it's all of it. So. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, tiger can't change stripes. Life can't change spots. It, I mean, look, these are generalities because they have a lot of truth to them. They're not absolutes, but they're really damn good. True. True. One can't change one's essential nature. 
The leopard cannot change its spots. These are metaphoric expressions, both originated in it's ancient. actually on there. Yeah, let me get to it. These metaphoric expressions both originated in, in, in ancient Greek that appears in the Bible, Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 23, can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? It was first recorded in English in the year 1546. By Jeffrey Chaucer. <laughs> uh, his, 400 years later. His great, 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 great granddaughter. Yeah. Josephine Chaucer in 1546. <laughs> Jefferetta. Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> I need to uh, choke. Hydrate. Better. Choke the chicken. <laughs> That's. Why did they call it that? It's not a chicken. <laughs> I need to start bringing props every time I come over. I'm not so fucking Carrot it's Top. It's full of fucking props. I'm not fucking Carrot Top. We don't need props. We, we got, got my two voice. two of them already. No, we've we got, got... We have, a, who special, do we have? Special Agent Orange. And why? Because uh, we like Eddie Murphy. Trading Places? Yeah. And we have Baphomet, the cover of a Slayer album. Yes, it's due to Slayer, everybody. Yeah. We don't burn shit in effigy in the backyard. No, I just love Slayer. We're not part of Bohemian Grove. Had Fucking to slip Slayer. it in there, bro. Fucking Slayer. Anything else on a tiger I think cannot change its stripes. I like the Egyptian change its skin. That's interesting. Was that Ethiopian. a racial? That okay, was in was, the Bible. Right. Can the Ethiopian change his skin? Right. But I'm curious if it was like a race because of color. Because yeah, the Ethiopian would be dark. pretty dark. Yeah. But who's light? In that area, no one. Well, I guess people Middle Eastern were lighter. Yes, they were really dark. They were dark brown. Ethiopians a little farther south, right? Right. It's Africa. It's Africa, right? Africa. Yeah. And Middle East is actually Asia, correct? The Middle East isn't part part of. It's on. It's on the other side. Oh, you're right. It is Asia. Right. Yeah. So it's a different continent, isn't it? it Please tell me it is, because I I cannot be this dumb. No, you're. They don't look it up. It's okay. Fine. We can move. It's along. correct, right? Yes. Yes. Egypt, but Ethi- yeah, Ethiopia is in Africa. Yeah, of course it is. And yeah. Middle East is in Asia. I believe so. Okay. So it's yes, not there is a skin color, but how it? I know it's close because obviously I, there was. Yeah, a you got to go through Egypt yeah. or go across the minute, not the Med Sea, but the Persian Gulf. Was that during a forty-year fucking walk? Jesus yes. Christ. Christ. <laughs> I said Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus that's the worst. Here. Jesus he fucking Christ. And this is the Old Testament, I think. Jeremiah, I, don't I know. assume, fucking was the, I don't know. Who who said it? Jeremiah. No, who said it in Jeremiah or whatever? Jeremiah the bullfrog. He was. A bullfrog. <laughs> and he was a good friend. <laughs> You're welcome. Ta da. <laughs> I think you just made a fit. I don't think that was it. Look, Mina! You made it. It's right there, fucker! What? No, I know, but you're, you said bullfrog. Yes, of the fr- course I said bullfrog. Right, but you made that fit. Yes, of course I did. Right. Not, it wasn't actually like no, on there. No, but Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Yeah, bullfrog, good, Jeremiah. Yeah. It's not that far of a stretch. No, it's not. And I could have heard you say it. And then it made me think of the frog. Because I remember I went to fox in the scorpion. I changed it to frog in the scorpion. Uh, yeah, but I thought I, I thought the original story was frog, not fox. But I, I, there was both, and I went to frog, but I start with fox, if everyone remembers. Yes, Cause I Because there's do. a story of a fox swimming across the river. Oh, I don't, I don't know that one. It's the same fucking story, except for the frog's a fox. And the scorpion is fabulous. Fantastic. Okay. Um <laughs> I was a bullfrog. Yeah. Singing joy to the world. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me way too much leeway, man. You Can have you, a good voice. You should have stayed us on target. Stay on target. Up next is smart ass. I added this late to the list because I oh, like Oh, I know. I can tell you the edible. This sounds exactly right. You made a comment and you got spanked for it. <gasps> and that's why it hurt. So your ass smarted. It's smarted. I have no idea. Damn it. I could find nothing on this. What? I swear to God. I think that's what it is. I, I, you could be. 
uh, the it's the origin of smartass is a wise guy or no know it all first recorded between 1905 and 1910. A person who is irritating because they behave as if they know everything, know everything, irritatingly clever or smug. But I looked and looked about is it short for smart aleck? Is it? It, how did that phrase I come about? I think smart about? aleck came from smart ass because ass they didn't want to say. Oh. Because ass is a bad word. That's bothering that. Uh, please, uh, go for OCD it. Oh, but I was that. also wondering, smart ass, did it have something to do with a donkey? I'm being serious. Because a donkey, I, jackass, right? I wasn't laughing at no, that. No, no, but was... I mean, I, I'm not. I'm, it's a valid question. So right. did they, I couldn't find where the term actually came from. When you get spanked, you used to say, ow, that hurt my ass. Smarts. Well, yes. <laughs> I think that these assholes got out of line. People like you and I got out of line. Yeah. And were punished for be bucking every system. Because back then, systems were very fucking rigid and important. Like, there was zero freedom to move anyway. You know what I mean? Correct. You had to, yeah. you had to ask permission to sneeze. Yeah. You know, so it would be my opinion that smart ass, they would get beat and they're ass smarted because of it. Like, yeah, wow, that's smart. That's very, that's I like that. Thought. Yeah, no, that seems very logical. Twitter world. I dig Do it. Do you know the etymology of the smart ass? Yeah. If somebody else can beer Google it Please. better than I can. We need crack research staff. I definitely Please. did. Help and I couldn't out. find shit. I know, but you're, you're only part of the research Problem. staff, sir. Sir, we have, we have people out there. Okay. They're out there. Bro. The X files, the check files, Jax files. <laughs> Check files. He makes both files. the mix and <laughs> he makes the mix and the supernatural. We got to get somebody on here, man. Okay, Just yeah, saying. I need to, that's all I have. Stay on that, target. I have that reminder. All right, after do you have anything <clears> else on <throat> smartass, sir? Smartass, yeah, I love it. It's pretty cool. Like I, mean, I don't know if that's right or not, but it I sounds think, right. I think you're a genius. Up next, a thousand ways <laughs> You're such an to skin a cat. I know what it means. I can't imagine that you try to skin cats different ways. Once you got, <laughs> what, once you got one method down, some go head to tail, some go foot to head. I don't even know why you'd want to skin one. So just tell me, because I don't know. Also known as there's more than one way to skin a cat. Means there That's are many ways to do something. There are many ways to achieve a goal. The oldest known use of the phrase dates back to 1854. In the work Way Down East or Portuaries of Yankee Life by Seba Smith. Don't know who that is. However, there's, a, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Has its roots in older similar phrases. Such as there's more than one way to kill a cat. Choking it with cream. What? There's more than there's more ways to kill a cat than choking it with cream. Found in the 1830s. I I I I don't. Why would you sh shove cream down his throat? Why are you killing? Why is everyone so fucking killing cats? I don't bro? get it, dude. Uh, it's it, it must have been such a fucking problem back then. Maybe there's too many. I don't know. It seems that originally the animal in question was a dog. As a 17th century proverb is there are more ways to kill a dog than hanging. So I'm kind of regret even looking that one up. I don't like that one. Can we change it? <laughs> yes. I mean, I just knew what it meant. There are, there's more than a thousand ways to pet a dog. There, there's more than one way to pet a dog. There's more than one way to adopt a dog. Man, this is beautiful. Aww, man. That, is, Mita. that is that. You should take a bow for that. There's more than one way to love a dog. You can kiss their face. You scratch their butt. You sniff their butt to get don't, to know them better. Don't sniff their butt. <laughs> yeah, don't. They they do it. They do mind to do that all the time. Like the fucker, you known him for two years. Why are you still sniffing his butt? Just making sure he's in there still. <laughs> Is that you? Okay, good. Bye. Just yeah, make, just make. Just make sure. uh, okay, plus, good. Plus, I like your brand as much as I like my own. Maybe. Just weird. Maybe they just like it's each other's weird. brand. It's just weirdos. Oh, I love my own brand. Oh, <laughs> it smells great. Oh, my asshole smells great. My dog is not Scottish. She's Swedish. I don't know about all that. Uh, he is. From Gothenburg, Sweden. 
They well, they do it to each other, so you have two, and not two. both of them are from the Swedes. No, one is one is from Sweet. one is Mexican, Sweet. and one is Sweet. Swedish. Sweet. I Sweet. call him. I, I like nice job, like a Sweden in China shop, as he comes barreling through the house like a lunatic. Anything else? Uh, <laughs> On a thousand ways to pet a doggy. A thousand. There's more than one way to pet a dog. There's more than one way to grab their smushy faces. There's more than one way to hold a cat. Sure. Fuck cats. See, I knew you were going to say that, and you're like, oh, I'm cool with all these skinned cats, but don't you dare touch a fucking dog. Damn right. Such a fu- it's Except weird. golden doodles. It is the weirdest fucking thing, man. Fuck you don't even know. Doodles. I don't even know. You don't. I don't. What are you talking about? <sighs> all right. This is it, bro. I, There's this one, is the last one? one. One left. We've got... We've got like we another have, hour to go before we, like, we, we have click, 40 minutes, bro. Before we hit our average. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can make up a bunch of phrases then. No. All right. Good. We got the last one. Yeah. Also. Tambian. Also Tambian. <laughs> referenced by an incredibly amazing heavy metal band. Testament. Practice what you preach. Oh, I thought you were going to do Tesla. And I was like, no, signs, Testament. signs everywhere. There's preach. signs. Practice what you preach, bro. Yeah, practice what you preach. So obviously it would have to go back to church times about them acting as well as them telling you what to do and acting accordingly. Don't be a hypocrite. Absolutely correct. Okay, bring it. If you say that someone practices what they preach, you mean they behave in the way that they encourage other people to behave. He ought to practice what he preaches. The origin of this idiom, practice what you pre- preach, is in the Bible. The saying is in fa- found in Matthew chapter 23, verse 3, and reads thusly, So you must obey them and do everything they tell you, but do not do what they do, for they do not practice what they preach. Interesting. Isn't that incredibly Alanis Morissette? In the Bible, do not do what they do, for they do not practice what they preach. Uh, he just predicted the entire 2,000 years of the fucking Catholic Church. Good job, Matt. <laughs> I'm going to hell. Um, yes? Just like in The Matrix. The Matrix. Do not try to bend the spoon. There is no spoon. These aren't. Just the, think, there is no spoon. There's. There is no droids that you're looking no, for. No, it's not. That's different. Totally different. There is no spoon, my friend. There's no spoon. The red pill has been taken by us, unfortunately. I think we were born with it, fucking shoved up our assholes. Oh, 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 I forgot. There's one more on the list. Is uh, there? Yes, I forgot. Oh, thank I, goodness, because we need to burn another forty-eight the, minutes. The etymology, oh, or etymology. anatomy. What's the etymology of etymology? I don't know. Uh, it, why can't you, Why or, can't you play along? Originated in 2020, the month of July. Toothpaste is out of the tube. It was originated <laughs> originated by a checkmark. Oh, checkmark uh, hates his <laughs> fucking phrase. This asshole come in here. It's like toothpaste and tube. I'm like, what fucking toothpaste? Checkmark don't even like toothpaste. Fuck crest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm looking that one the fuck up now because Fine. you're being an asshole about it. Because it's funny. I know it's funny, and I love you. That's why we're look. I the Googs even complete auto completed Googles? for me. Oh, stop it. The beer Googles, you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. This idiom was popularized after the release of the White House tapes in connection oh. with Watergate scandal of the early 70s, which contained H.R. Haldeman's conversation with H. President R. Counsel John D. Puffin stuff. Yeah. Interesting. Is that when tube toothpaste started? Had to start a little earlier than that, and we must have fucked up way before that. Uh, I, I give credit to you have a trademark and uh, registered trademark to checkmark for that phrase. You get one. I, why penny. it originated in the seventies? No, nah, I think bro. that's a lie, dude. I think the cyberwebs lie. Oh, that's, hashtag fake news. Yes, correct. That's all you. Ah, uh, yeah, right. What was the thing I sent you about fake news? No, that was Lex. That was Lex on on the, on the book of face. Because he was trying to be gl- he was trying to make a joke about something, and then it got some political, and he's like, "I give up. I'm done." So then I said, and I tweet, I uh, sent a Facebook message that one plus one equals two. Politicize this. 
and people did. <laughs> it was fucking great. They're like, you're assuming that one wants to be a one, but what if two identifies as a four? <laughs> and it, hit me. it was like fucking all over the place. It, it got, it was so funny because we actually, someone finally laughed for once. Like we breathed. Good. But anyway. That's awesome. That one, that one goes out to Lex. Lex, I'm sorry I had a rough week, man. I know you're trying to make jokes. I was actually being serious about CPT oil because I literally, it, say, it helped save my life also along with a lot of intense therapy. Yeah. Team CBD. What we got net? <laughs> Team peppermint oil. Put peppermint oil on my dome. Excuse me. All right. Well, I have a little that, roll that's on. That's all of them? That's, I'm so sorry that I only had 12, bro. <laughs> That we're I only an hour and 14 see, minutes in. That's what I said. I said, we need 25, don't we? I said, I'll have 12 of my no, own. And you said, me, 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 you need 12 when we get four hours out of here. Actually, you said three. But. Uh, I, I, I sound just like that. Your impersonation <laughs> of me is so accurate. I love it. Uh, my point is that I came up with those all on my own. It's true. And I didn't want you to like Google them. And then, I know. That, so if you had 12 that you came up with, that would be different. Okay, so, well, I'm going to come up with 12 then, motherfucker. Okay. I'll just pull it from some list that you can't gooks. That's, see, that's cheating, though, dude. Like, I, oh, I have to come up with all my own. Yeah, like but, if they pop in your head or you... you <laughs> I'm, I'm listening. I'm just smiling. Or, why, can't, why can't I fucking smile? What, now I'm interrupting by smiling? No, I... <laughs> I didn't know what you were laughing at, so I was like... I'm laughing at the whole situation. This is fun. Like, we're having fun with it. Just shut up and have a good time. <gasps> mm. All right. Okay, time to get serious so and laugh. This car. Get serious and laugh, damn it. Uh, <laughs> like, because there was just, yeah. you know, most of them was, oh, I heard that rat song, and then a testament song, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, slip of the lip, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, so they were all things that happened over like six weeks of me compiling the list versus me Googling a list and then doing it that way. So it was, I thought it was more real yeah it more was, like it was more chris more uh authentic nah, it is it's think. more you it it's is, like but genuine. i couldn't think of the word it's genuine it's more thoughtful whatever. fuck i can't think of it i don't think so good sometimes G it's genuine man Sh yes just surely it's beautiful totally. and stop stop calling me Shirley. uh roger roger i love that movie <laughs> it's very good <laughs> this is about the abortion again <laughs> Betty, it's just a smart, a practical move. <laughs> Happy 40th anniversary to Airplane. Yes, 40th anniversary. Great, um, great movie. Sad uh, to see Sean Connery gone. Yeah, rest in peace. Rest in power. This is a beer Google's entertainment, right? So, Connery, you're the man now, dog. And uh, I love you in Highlander. He was a lot of one of my favorite scenes from Untouchables. He was. With... Kevin Costner, the postman. You bring a knife, you bring a gun. Send one to the morgue. And we'll put him in the morgue. Um, yeah, he was very influential in our lives. While Dude, growing up, we saw him a lot of things. Yeah. So cool. Sorry to hear. Sorry to see him go. Is that it? Is that all we got? I don't know what else you want to talk about. Uh, Special Agent Orange. All the soda cans. Are we allowed to go off topic after the thing instead of before? Sure. No, I think we what do you fun. got? I thought these were awesome, man. Thanks for sharing these with You're us. You're welcome. I don't know what we're doing. I'm next, sorry if they seem anticlimactic. Hold. Why? They Okay. I have uh how many did I actually guess correctly? Five. Like seven. 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 I think I got none in the nineteen right. Seven. Uh, Teen. Thanks so much for being with us, sir. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. <laughs>